Hi, and welcome to my channel. I did Mary McDougall's Rice Mini. It's a diet where you choose a starch and make that starch central to each and every meal for 10 straight days. You can choose potatoes or sweet potatoes or a whole grain like brown, red, black, wild rice or quinoa. But once you choose, that is the starch you're stuck with for the duration. You then add greens and non-starchy vegetables, peas, green beans, and uh, carrots are also allowed as side dishes. And you eat until you are comfortably full. You are not allowed fruits, nuts, seeds, oil, or beans. The idea is to make the next 10 days so boring and monotonous that you only eat when you are actually hungry. Remember, you're only doing this for 10 days, although I do know people who have done it for longer than a month. What I like about it is that during that time, I had no craving, binges, or any desire to comfort eat. I will point out that I tweak the diet slightly by adding one tablespoon of seeds and nuts to each of my meals. Day one, for breakfast, I had rice porridge, which I made by cooking one cup of rice with six cups of liquid, which can be water or broth. Uh, until I got the porridge consistency, topped with mushrooms, tomato, and greens. I forgot to take a photo. Lunch was rice cooked with caramelized onions, dill, and peas with a bowl of salad, topped with one tablespoon of mixed seeds. The link uh, above um, is the same, except that I substituted uh, peas for the um, broad beans, and the recipe starts at 1.36. Afternoon snack was some fresh vegetables and dinner was rice, spinach, and broccoli curry soup with one tablespoon of mixed seeds. The soup is the same as the potato and broccoli soup, but I used rice instead of potato. The link is above and the recipe starts at 8.03. I'm adding seeds because on my last mini I suffered badly from constipation, so I'm increasing the vegetables and fats. On my last mini, I was weighing myself every day. I will not be doing this this time. I waited until the last day. Day two, um, breakfast was rice porridge with mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, and bell peppers. Um, lunch was rice, peas, and dill with green beans cooked with garlic, uh, onion, and tomatoes. The link is above. Afternoon snack, fresh vegetables with cheese sauce from Well Your World on YouTube, and dinner was leftover rice and peas. Day three, breakfast was rice porridge, again with mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, bell peppers, and mixed seeds. Lunch, we were out, so I had vegetable sushi rolls. There was a little bit of avocado, but only a tiny bit. Dinner was brown rice with green beans cooked with tomato, onion, and garlic with mixed uh, some uh, with, with some salad uh, and seeds. Day four breakfast again was rice porridge. Lunch was mushroom risotto. I'll show you what I did uh, in a minute. Um, with some peas. Afternoon snack was fresh vegetables and the cauliflower cheese sauce, and dinner was salad, rice, and green beans. I feel good, lots of energy, still no craving, binging, or comfort eating. So I sautéed the onions for the, for the risotto <coughs> until soft. I, I kept on adding uh, um, vegetable broth to... Uh, keep them from sticking. And then I added uh, garlic, uh, chopped up mushrooms, uh, the spices, which uh, were black pepper and paprika, and uh, um, some fresh uh, herbs, and also some mixed uh, dried herbs. Then uh, I added the rice and uh, 
when the rice became, you know, I kept it on uh, on the heat for about two to three minutes until it became like translucent. That's when I started adding the broth. I added the broth a little bit at a time. Uh, and I kept on stirring. I mean, this is the thing with risotto. You have to keep on stirring. Uh, once it was, uh, once the broth was absorbed, I added some more broth. It was one cup of rice to, I think, four cups of liquid of uh, broth. Day five. Breakfast was rice porridge with cherry tomatoes and bell peppers with a tablespoon of crushed walnuts. And from uh, the leftovers of the day before, I made arancini balls, rice balls. I just mashed the risotto in my hands, made it into balls, and air fried them. We had them with broccoli and cauliflower. The sauces we used were sweet chili sauce and cauliflower cheese sauce. Dinner was rice and broccoli soup. Day six, I felt great and full of energy. Breakfast was leftover rice and broccoli soup. Lunch was stuffed courgettes cooked with tomato sauce. The link is above. The only difference is that I omitted the meat substitute. Afternoon snack was uh, fresh vegetables with cauliflower cheese and dinner was salad with green beans. Day 7, breakfast was broccoli rice soup with uh, walnuts. Lunch was marinated portobello mushrooms stuffed with brown rice and dill. The link to the recipe is above. The only difference is that I cooked, I used uh, cooked brown rice instead of bulgur wheat. We had it with the cauliflower cheese sauce. Afternoon snack was vegetables and the dinner was vegetable rice soup with uh, walnuts. Again, uh, it's the same as the uh, broccoli and potato vegetables, but I used uh, rice and uh, frozen vegetables. Day 8, breakfast was leftover stuffed mushrooms, lunch was oh, again leftover stuffed courgettes, afternoon snack was vegetables, and the, the dinner was uh, vegetable soup, but I added some uh, uh, spinach. Day 9, breakfast was leftover stuffed mushrooms, uh, lunch was paella. Um, the link is above. I used uh, green beans instead of the white beans I used in that recipe. Uh, dinner was leftover stuffed courgettes topped with uh, cheese sauce on a bed of arugula and some uh, walnuts. Day, day 10 is the final day. Breakfast was leftover vegetable rice soup with mushrooms, cherry tomatoes and seeds. Lunch leftover paella with a large salad. Dinner leftover stuffed courgettes uh, and a large salad. I really did not want to eat any of it. I've been dreaming of fruits and hummus. I almost gave up and made myself a large fruit salad. I uh, lost in total over the 10 days, I lost um, 10 pounds or four and a half kilos. And uh, I hope you like this. I hope you find it useful.